Now, so we were watching a lot of Spider-Man movies today. And does anybody else get this? I might be even playing any games on the side. Um, oh, I've been playing a lot of games on my off time. I've been playing uh, Zelda a lot. Um, but to kind of break it up just so I don't get you know burned out. I've also been playing Final Fantasy 16, which has been phenomenal. It's getting a lot of hate right now because it's not, you know, like a lot of the other Final Fantasy games. I'm okay with that. I, I am 100% glad that they moved away from turn-based fighting. The combat in that game. No, 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 no. Oh, Tim. Oh, Tim, please. Um, the combat in that game, man. Oh, Oh, it's it's just perfect. It's so smooth. What, what are you saying about Spider Man? Okay, so watching Spider Man movies today. Um, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm I've got to be hyper focused here. I've got to land on this little air air vent. There we go. Ooh, frames chugging a little bit there. Um. This is a loud little area. Lord. This is so freaking loud. Um, what the crap? Go, Tim Tim. Go. So, does anybody else get the feeling like... And I don't know if... I, I, I think the reason I feel this way is because... We've had several uh, movies on Spider-Man. You know, we're kind of used to seeing Spider-Man um, have his own own series and whatnot. So the way the feeling I get, like when I'm watching any Marvel movie, right? They're all connected, pretty much. They're all connected. You see, you know, you see other characters make appearances, whatnot. Bird, kindergarten. School, you know, army, it institute, makes me feel like factory, it's like death. this huge Hello web of, of movies, right? I mean, that's just the way you feel, because uh, that's the way it is. Now, when I watch a Spider-Man movie, though, when I watch Tom Holland's Spider-Man movies, even though it even has Tony Stark right there. Yeah, yeah, Tim Tim. Uh, make appearances in the movie, you see Happy, you see... Um, uh, Fury, like, I feel like it's still his own, it, like, it's separate. Like, I feel like he's his, he's big enough, or just bigger than a lot of the other people. You know what I mean? And I don't know if it's, you got to mute? No problem, buddy. Um, I don't know if that's because, you know, I thought, I you know, I started to screw up there, and then I thought, you know what, whatever, we got this. Um... I don't know. It's hard to explain. I just feel like it's bigger than the other movies to where I don't think of the other movies. I feel like he is a character. I'm totally focused in on him and his his story. Um, whereas, like, if I'm watching Thor, which, trust me, like, one, his, his movies are amongst my favorite. Um, I still am thinking about the uh, Marvel movies as a whole. Spider-Man, it's just, I just think about Spider-Man. Um, like I said, probably just because we've had several, you know, Spider-Man movies. Uh, because I've only seen Toby Spidey. What? No, 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 no. Dude, boosted. Are you, do you, are you, do you just not like the superhero movie genre? Or do you just have a thing? You just don't want the character ruined. Iron Man and Homecoming, Fury and Far Home, Doc Strange and No Way Home. Yeah, all of those just feel still like to me. Was this the right way? I think it was. It's a strange feeling. Ooh. I've never been this far okay. away from home. Wait a second. Ever been this far away from home? This is the kid talking? That. What the. Um, uh, okay. Anyway. You better climb up that, Tim Tim. Um, I still felt like, you know, they were separate. 
But yeah, boosted. You got to tell me. I'm, I, I'm like, I'm itching to know. I gotta, I gotta know about this. And while we're waiting, I'm gonna start talking about. Uh, I, I, I wanted to bring up. Does anybody have any of the Groove products? Like, I just got for my sixth anniversary from my in-laws that gave me a uh, Groove wallet. I've been wanting one for a while. I have a Groove, groove belt. And man, I tell you what, there has been nothing that I've been more excited about in a while <laughs> over a wallet. But I'm telling you, it is, it's great. It is such, such an, now you, person really needs is not I, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. For some worthy goal. Um, you really have to downsize your wallet, but I was one of the guys that had this big fat leather wallet. I see you coming in here. You guys gonna come ruin my... Wait, wait. Was this the right way? I can't remember if this was the right way or not. I don't like this. You better take me to the right place. I, some of these will take you back down. Um, actually, there's one thing I noticed. Our strange helps Pete with the multiverse and the ways home and he's all surprised about the multiverse existing in his own movie you know you're getting old when wallets make <laughs> make out make you happy 100 percent. but I, I can't tell you just like the difference it has made and you know i don't have to i don't even this wallet is so thin right you don't even have to put it in your back back pocket you can put it in your front i put it in my front left pocket oh yeah shoot i forgot about this and it is uh, like you you push up on it and it pops the cards out in like a stacked order. Oh, it's it's fast. It's beautiful. I'm not the the money clip part of it. I am a little bit afraid to lose the cash, but so far it holds it in. Like it doesn't seem like it would hold it in very well, but it holds it in great. I haven't I haven't lost it. Got ten bucks strapped to the back of it. Anybody that lives near me. Don't touch me. I'm telling you all about my wallet, where it's at, how much I got on it. I was excited when he got new shampoo the other day. Exactly. Like anybody else on the Dr. Squatch uh, gang, huh? Because man, I don't I don't buy their products enough. But man, do I love me some Dr. Squatch soap. Like, they make some good stuff, and you really do. You feel like you are clean afterward. Clean. I've only had, like, had a couple of their uh, scents, too. Come on. You gotta get to Tim Tim. Uh, yeah, let's, let's walk this. We're in no hurry. Jed uses that stuff all the time. See? That's what I mean. It's good stuff. I think they actually make, uh, so they make deodorant, but here's the thing. It's supposed to be like all natural and, you know, it doesn't have iron in it, which, and it doesn't like stain white shirts. Sounds great, right? But here's the thing. It's not antiperspirant. You know, I want me some antiperspirant. Does this game have reflections? Did you just see that? Okay, it has somewhat of a reflection, but they're not bad looking. Um, easy, easy, Tim Tim. Don't you, don't get excited, dude. Um, I, I need antiperspirant. I don't want, like, I'm not saying, like, I'm an extremely sweaty guy or anything, but, you know, I don't want to uh, have that risk of having, you know, some sweat stains. You just get head and shoulders. <laughs> oh my gosh. Chat blocked head and shoulders. I get get head is what it it blocked out. <laughs> Jeez. Your freaking mod will let me type. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That's pretty funny. When I mean I'll be honest, cause it 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 highlighted 
uh, shampoo, Get Head. It just highlighted Get Head, and I was like, what the heck is he talking about? No, no, no. You to keep Tim Tim. All right, you know, we've actually made it back to a pretty good spot. We've made it further than this before. We have. Um, but I think we're making some pretty good pace. Like, look at that. We're at 30 minutes. Easy. 30 minutes, and we are pretty dang high. Look at that. Don't be worried, people. We got this. We got this. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you guys can, I mean, now the wallet, extremely pricey. I'm talking about shampoo, you stupid robot. <laughs> uh, all of this stuff, like, I feel like it's that, just that, I, I kind of feel fad, like I'm like chasing after fads every time I um, get stuff like that. But and, and you know they're always you know pretty high priced. Like that's one of the reasons why I don't get Doctor Squatch all the time. Um, Groove Wallet was freaking you know ninety bucks, and that is exactly right re the reason why I didn't buy it myself. You know, I don't, have, I don't I just that's that's a lot of money for a wallet. But thankfully my in laws got a deal where they got uh, um, the wallet with the belt with a brand new belt because i did have one but with a brand new belt uh for free so it then of that deal that's pretty worth it because i think the belts are like 60 bucks in themselves gonna hop off no problem thank you Be bagel for dropping by um come on no 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 oh my gosh tim to get oh all right we're we're doing fine we're doing fine we're we can do this it's you and me tim tim you me tim Ch chat you, you okay now i'm just lost come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. easy easy there you go climb uh, okay so did you also see i don't know if we have too many uh console players out there um, but I was a little surprised to see, and I didn't believe it at first, Microsoft saying that they, you know, admit that they had lost the console wars. And I'm a little upset for them for saying it. Like, they're different, period. They're just, they're di a different kind of console. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I am, I am like, whenever I'm playing my Xbox, it's mainly for, I like playing it for Fortnite competitive games. I think that's where I want to compete on. And that's where, I, you know, I, I feel like there is, a, you, know, you get more performance out of it. It's a stronger console. Now, PlayStation. I love my PS5 for the exclusives. It's, the exclusives are just amazing. You cannot, um compete with you know god of war spider-man especially oh my gosh which by the way you know i was i really would love to stream that i may stream it uh before oh great we're back to this part we did get just above this part we have not That's been much further than this feel. i don't envy them Sticking. and i don't envy myself either um come on if we face down it's a little bit better um But my Xbox, like, I still would say that they're, in my heart, they're equals. Now, I may not be right, you know, I, and I know I'm not, because, you know, PlayStation obviously sells a whole lot more consoles. Um, and it has a whole lot more success with having ex game exclusives. I don't understand... Fully, like I said, I was playing uh, Final Fantasy 16. I get them being exclusive. <sighs> that being exclusive to uh, PlayStation uh, for a period of time. 
but and then it's supposed to come to which which way do I go? I can't remember. It could be either way, but I think this way is better. Um, it's ex exclusive to PlayStation. Final Fantasy 16 is exclusive to PlayStation for like six months. Then it goes to PC. What about Xbox? Like, if it came out in six months, like, especially if it's going to be a very graphically demanding game, honestly, I'll... Did, did, oh, okay, no, I didn't run out. Just right there. If it's a graphically demanding game, I'm honestly going to... I'm going to... No, 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 about, um, I don't know, 20 minutes of uh, progress. Nah, I'd say probably about 15 minutes of uh, progress in a matter of 10 seconds. It's great. It's a great time. Anyhow. Like, I'd say one of my favorite series and I'm not saying the old ones, but God of War, man, what a good story. They did such a great job. Ragnarok, honestly, um, I didn't like it as much as the first one. You know, I liked seeing uh, Kratos over the course of time start to, you know, soften up a little. He didn't soften up a whole lot, but man, the difference between um the first god of war to ragnarok he he made such progress with uh atreus i i was not a big fan with playing as atreus but you know is what it is uh but they got so many different series Spider-Man, Death Stranding, super excited with that. That was a very controversial game, you know. Not a lot of people liked it at first. Then it actually got huge over time. Man, what a good game just to vibe to. Like, I've thought about streaming that before too, just to, you know, screw around on. It's, it's a good game just to, you know, relax to. Like, you do deliveries just figuring out like small things just figuring out how to get to from point a to point b that's it like you don't have too much else to worry about and what you do have to worry about you know it's just like you know, run into one or two things on the way there or you can you know find a long way around those things those issues um and it's not too bad Hugely excited, though, to see uh, Symbiote suit in the uh, new play PlayStation um, Spider-Man. And then back to the Marvel movies for a second. Apparently, Tom Holland has commented that he did, doesn't exactly know Tim if he wants to come back as uh spider-man he said he is he's con i think he's he already signed the contract but i think he did ha said he half-heartedly did it and and you know i can't blame him the f the three movies that he did ended up being great but um you know and and it, and it finished it had a good end to it it did do i want more yes i do i mean of course we do a lot of people want to see Iron Man back. <laughs> Me personally, I do think, you know, that was a good ending for him. Like, yeah, man, how emotional did you all get? Don't you dare lie to me and say you didn't get emotional during that scene in Endgame. And he said, I am Iron Man. And just, you know, snapped. That scene, man, I tell you what, when, when 
Get, get it, get it, get it. Tom Holland came over. Peter Parker came over. And he started crying. Oh my gosh, I about lost it. That was freaking sad. I don't care who you are. You can't tell me it wasn't. Oh. Tim Tim, please. Just just be nice to me. For once. Obey me. And don't screw around. Has anybody else seen that, uh, the articles on the uh, Titanic uh, submarine? Before we talk about it, just just answer me this. Would you go down in a submarine? Would you, if you, if you were a rich person, a very rich person, and you thought, mm, you know, I, I want to go see the Titanic. Would you pay $250,000 to go check out uh, and look at the... Uh, Titanic in a submarine about with a window about this big hmm? you, you, you're in there with like four people you, you can't I don't even think they like they don't even wear shoes in there because you're you're all you know like hunched over kind of just laying there uh, on your hips <clears throat> um, or you know in a crisscross applesauce position that I can't do anymore for more than like three minutes because my old man hips kill me um but you it's it's a two and a half mile descent in this little tube and it takes i think they said four hours to get down then you know you're spending at least you know i don't know one to two hours just you know flying around this thing or or floating around this thing Um, and then when you're done, guess what? Four hours back up. That sounds like an absolute horrible time. Plus, I, I don't know if you guys have looked it up or seen it on the news, but dang that thing, that little tiny thing. Mm -mm, two and a half miles deep in the water. They said the pressure of square inch. So, so every square inch that your body takes up. Um, is 6,000 pounds of pressure. You know how much pressure that is? That is ridiculous. So, I mean, in a positive matter, you know, the, they, you know they eventually found the submarine. The people had died. Uh, they did not find any bodies. And the, the reason probably being is that, like I said, 6,000 pounds of pressure, it was probably like a pop can you know, just being crushed. Uh, or I think they said that it's like an implosion. So it basically exploded, but it imploded. If if you get what I'm saying. Pieces still went flying, but it was more inward on the original explosion. You get what I'm saying. Come on. Come on. Tim, Tim, would you... Climb the heck up this thing. Get up there, dude. Don't even. Oh my gosh, we're 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 having we're getting we're getting hasty. We are. I'll I'll be the first to admit it. We are. But yeah, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I mean, honestly, I don't know if I would do it. And and this is even before knowing that these people died. I don't know if I would do it for $250,000. Like, that is a huge risk. Now, I think I'd be more likely to go into space than, um, like, I would ride up in a rocket sooner than I would go in a submarine that deep. I mean, because they say that we have explo explored more of space than um, of the sea, you know, that's kind of that's kind of scary you know how many things have we not seen in the ocean right it's kind of it's cool to think about but it's scary we've been more in space than we have the ocean it would be pretty sweet though I gotta say if megalodons still existed um, 
Which, by the way, you know, talking about Megalodons, I don't know if anybody's seen the movie The Meg. It actually wasn't too bad. You know, for, for a shark movie, you know, most shark movies nowadays um, suck. Let's be honest. I mean, all of them are just, uh, you know, they're not, they, I don't know. What, what, what was the one? 13 meters down? Is it 13 meters down? Something like that. I mean, they're not horrible. But they're not great either, you know. The Meg was definitely better than those. It was good. That's that's what I would put it as. Um, apparently, they're making a second one, which, honestly, I don't know. Probably isn't a great idea. Although, anything you put Jason Statham in, you know, it can't be too bad, right? Jason Statham... Um, and thinking about Jason Statham makes me think of of Hobbs and Shaw. I don't know if anybody else watched that that movie, which I have not been a big fan of the newer Fast and Furious. But uh, you know, because of just how ridiculous it was. But Hobbs and Shaw was great, and then having you know little bits of Ryan Reynolds in there, just perfect. I mean. And I'm sure Ryan Reynolds did most of his own writing because you know you you can just tell. All right, come on, Tim Tim, let's speed this up just a little bit. There we go. Slow it down. Speed it up. Ooh ooh ooh, Tim Tim. Easy, easy. Okay. We're on the right way, right? Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. We failed on one of these, right? I, I, I just hate these freaking platforms. I don't know what it is. These are not my kind of platforms. And you think that, oh, they it doesn't look like it's that far off. I think that's where I fell, right? They don't look like they're that fall, far off. No, that's not where I fell. We made it up this high. But uh, somehow you end up being close to nothing. I, I think that this, I don't know, I, I've watched people play Getting Over It. I had a, you know, heck of a t fun time watching people fail at that. But, um, come on. Just step onto this one. There we go. Jump. Easy, easy. Okay, yes, climb up on that one. Easy. Here we go. All right, here we are. Here we are. I don't think we made it here. We didn't. We didn't. Definitely not going back down. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ah, oh, ah, ah. It's fine. We got it out of our system. We're cool. We're fine. We're fine. Am I going? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I have no idea what we we're talking about. But I tell you what, my coffee is just not that great. It is not hitting the spot right now. There we go. There we go. Just calm, cool, and collected, Tim Tim. Calm, cool, and collected. Um, does anybody, like, do, do you guys buy those creamers at the store? That You know, it's already pre-mixed. You just buy those liquid creamers. And I don't know if it's just, you know, because I do, I try to buy zero sugar. But all zero sugar ones just taste the same. Like, it's, it's kind of just a lie. No, 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 no. Don't even, Tim. Don't even. Like, this one time I bought, I think, no, it wasn't Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, Kit Kat flavored coffee, right? Kit Kat flavored coffee, and then uh, Kit Kat flavored creamer. Zero sugar. Didn't taste like anything. Like, I mean, it didn't taste, I, I was, it, it didn't even taste sweet. Like, it didn't even taste like just regular fake sweetener i was completely uh let down i was super excited got both of them from uh kroger 